Hello, I'm Sam Orlich, a product specialist here in Madrid, Spain for Heritage Audio. And today we'll be going over one of the modules from our 80 series range. This one in particular is the 8173. Now we'll be going over the different connections for our 8173. As you see, this has an 18 pin edge connector, therefore, it's completely compatible with all of our rack 2 enclosures, as well as our frame 8, the vertical enclosures, for up to eight different modules. It's even, you can even use this as a replacement in old mixing boards, as the pin configuration is exactly the same, and it also uses the same 24 volts. Okay, one of the important little feature we've got here on the back is a switch to change between 1200 ohms or lower it down to 300 ohms, which can be really convenient if you're using older microphones. When you drop it down to 300, you get a much different response. Also great for ribbon mics. It can also come in handy just for some tone control, a little bit of creative control, extra creative control there. Now I'd like to go over the different features that the 8173 has to offer. First thing we'll talk about is the gain. Once again, this is our famous little red knob here for a hearty 80 dBs of gain, more than enough for anything you'd like to throw at it. And if you go all the way to the counterclockwise extreme, you'll run into the line preamp with up to 20 dBs of gain right there. And this is interesting and worth mentioning, this preamp input has its very own transformer for the just for the line input. The mic input has a completely different transformer. Okay, so if we continue moving this knob clockwise, you'll run into the preamp gain staging. And there, once again, you got the two different stages to faithfully replicate our 73 style Class A preamp. The next knob down is our high shelf EQ. And here, what we do is we've got an outer ring where you can select three different frequencies, and then the inner ring where you actually can adjust it plus or minus 15 dBs at the selected frequency. Moving on, we run into, we have two different knobs here for our mid-band peaks. Once again, using an outer ring to select the frequency that you're interested in working with. And the inner knob will give us a plus or minus 15 B dBs of gain, of booster cut. I should mention as well that all of these have a position on the ring where you can put it into off, which simply eliminates it from the circuitry. So if you don't intend to use that particular EQ, well, you just leave it in off. Okay, the the last knob setup we have here it regards our lower frequencies, and once again we've got a couple different frequencies selectable here, and then we've got plus or minus 15 dBs of cut or boost. Okay, directly below that we're going to run into our high pass filter. Now this is interesting because it's configurable in different ways. If you simply hit this button here on the left. You give yourself a 50 hertz cut. If you hit the button on the right, that supposes 80 hertz cut. It's about minus 3 dBs. However, if you hit them both, push them in, and if they're both activated, then really what you have is three. Your, your cutoff is at about 300 hertz. Okay. Then you've got a button on the bottom here that says EQL. It stands for equalizer. That's to activate, engage, or disengage the equalizer itself, all four bands, as well as cutoff. And then you've got the phase button, which simply flips the polarity 180 degrees. All right. I'd like to mention that you can also access phantom 48 volts if you're using a condenser mic, and that's actually on the rack units themselves either the rack 2 or the frame 8. Those racks have an external panel 
where you can actually activate and disactivate the 48 volts, as well as also containing an output trim knob there. So you can adjust and fine tune exactly how much signal level you want flowing on to the next piece of equipment. Those two features are located on the rack units themselves. We'd also like to mention in our 80 series range, we have, apart from the 8173, another preamp EQ called the 6673, as well as two rack enclosures. One of them, the rack two, you can mount two of these modules from the 80 series horizontally, and the other, the frame eight, allows up to eight different modules to be enclosed vertically. And if you have any other questions or doubts about these, you can always feel free to get in contact with us through our webpage.